some breaking news into Fox weather. There's been an apparent lightning strike in Washington, D.C. D.C. Fire and Rescue says the strike occurred in Lafayette Park in northwest D.C. Firefighters and EMS crews are currently on scene, and we know that four people were taken to the hospital, and they are in critical condition. We are continuing to get updates on the story, and as we get them, we will continue to bring them to you. It was super loud and like very, very clear. Like this lightning, this lightning bolt is like nothing I've ever seen before. Homeowners are still cleaning up from storms earlier this week. Lightning struck two homes in Fort Myers in the last two days, sparking fires. And you can see the roof on fire here along Fawn Ridge Drive. NBC 2's Alicia Alonzo is taking you inside the home to see the damage. And she talked with the family across the street who says the whole neighborhood shook. We can still smell smoke from what burned inside. Neighbors say they had no idea that lightning could cause this much damage. Now they're considering investing in protection. It was like mayhem in here. It was just fire trucks, lights, loud. Everyone was out of their houses. It was kind of like, it looked like a block party. Mike Morris says he's experienced his fair share of storms, but this bolt was the loudest he's ever heard and the brightest he's ever seen. My wife said she felt like the house vibrate, like the, the house was shaking because of the, the strike across the street. Surveillance cameras caught the action. Fire was shooting through the second floor of this home across the street. But it's just like crazy how they just got a brand new roof and then a month later, maybe not even, they're going to need another one. Fire damaged the inside. Insulation and ash covers the floor. Investigators say this is the second home that's been hit this week. This home in Charlotte County was struck Tuesday. Morris says he may install a lightning rod for protection. Well, that was the first real scare we've ever had. That was the first time we've been like, wow, okay, this actually might be a problem. Like, we don't want to get our house struck by lightning. Reporting in Fort Myers, Alicia Alonso, NBC2.